What is up guys, today I'm gonna talk about my 10 favorite cartoons. So let's get started. At number 10 is Phineas and Ferb. Now, all the characters were really interesting to watch and it was just that summer feeling that really got into you when you started the show. And you can always watch it again. And my favorite character was Perry because Perry was awesome and he always fight it. And I can just recommend watch it again. At number 9 we have Courage the Cowardly Dog. Now, some of you may not know this cartoon. It's not that famous, but it's about this purple little dog who always gets into trouble and creepy stuff happens. But the character always, like, Courage always means it pretty good. And there were really creepy episodes like Freaky Fred, who is like in the bathroom with Courage and they're locked in and he can't escape and he's just really creepy. Or these 3D animations that really scared me as a kid and got me nightmares. Okay, at number 8 we have Ben 10. Now, the thing about Ben 10 is the action kind of comedy style, like it was comedy but action at the s like same style. The characters, like the aliens he could turn into was pretty awesome to watch and always exciting. And as a kid I always wanted that watch, but... I never got the Omnitrix, but I got the toy of it, and it looked kind of like this, so yeah. At number 7, we have Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. <laughs> so the thing about Foster's Home, uh, Foster's Home is, um, the main character Meg, he's just like this kid who just likes to have fun, and the home, the Foster's Home, all these imaginary friends are in there, and Meg the main character will always come every day there after school and play with them so it was kinda interesting to watch at number 6 we have Dragon Ball I know Dragon Ball is not it's not much of a cartoon I know I know and now there will be comments like eh, it's an anime yeah yeah but it's just a classic with Son Goku I don't know just searching for the 7 Dragon Balls I guess and finding adventures and doing his first Kamiyamiha I guess that was pretty exciting to watch back then so yeah not much to say so at number 5 we have Avatar The Last Airbender <laughs> now I'm rewatching the show even now because I have great memories of Aang and the whole like the whole gang of Aang with the elements and stuff like Katara and Sokka always being side by side and will like always be there for him and will help him to his journey for mastering all four elements before time is up to save the world as an avatar. So it was kinda exciting. At number four we have Teen Titans, one of my all time favorite cartoons ever. Like seriously it's almost my favorite cartoon ever. Because the characters were just sometimes they were really sad and didn't know what to do and how it will go on and the characters were really realistic done and sometimes they were just like happy like hey so and there were also that thing with Slade and Robin which were like the best part of the whole show when Slade and Robin fight so yeah. At number 3 we have Gravity Falls. Now Gravity Falls is kinda modern cartoon it's kinda new you get in love with the characters really fast you get used to them you just like the characters they are so lovely and in the cartoon not everything always works out quite well for the characters they always need to think a different plan or something and then there's Dipper my favorite character and Bill the main enemy the main villain of the whole show who gets them in trouble so yeah at number two we have Adventure Time. Now, probably all of you watch Adventure Time. Just Finn and Jake always going to adventures and just fighting evil people with their swords and beating them up. But sometimes also really sad things happen and bad things happen. A little bit romance here and there with Finn getting a bit teenager style. The Ice King was just kind of funny and weird sometimes, so yeah. What can possibly beat that? What is number one, you ask? Well, I can say it. Steven Universe. Now, Steven Universe is like my all-time favorite cartoon with Steven, all the gems. Uh, all the gems. And at the beginning, Steven is kind of childish and he needs to control his powers and stuff. I won't spoil it, don't worry. Uh, he just needs to, like, control and he likes to eat a lot and he's just little bit of like he's a child like you can't take it too bad for him like it's kinda hard for him 
the show always like it has its sad moments but later on it has also its fights and Steven gets a little bit more how do you call it responsible and the show gets great later on so I can highly recommend it so thanks for watching and <laughs> like this video if you enjoyed it write in the comments anything and peace out